Hello everyone, welcome to another another sponsored video by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Thank you so much, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, for sponsoring this video. We have uh, some beautiful boxes here. They are similar designs to ones that we've had in the past, of course. But, with that, as you can imagine, we have, as usual, delicious treats on the inside. Oh, I did forget to cut this one open. So, let's start with Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Treat is a great way to bite into Japan and bring Japan into your home. It's their goal. Me and my wife, we love to eat this together in bed. Oh, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that too often because you will not go to bed until you have your sugar brush crash. They give you these little fun brochures that tells you more about Japan. You can see Godzilla, you can see cosplay, and you can also see the different foods you're gonna get here. So if you can't read the packaging, don't worry, you dummy. Open up the pamphlet. It's got all the answers you could want. We also have some fun snacks in here. <clears throat> they also always come with a Kit Kat. This one is a milk tea party. Lovely, a little custard treat here. And, well, as you can see, potato chips, crackers, candy, soda, and the like. Very cool. Let's open up the Saprico box. These ones are a little bit more refined, I guess is a good way to put it. Whereas Tokyo Treat, you know, you can kind of feel like you would get it at a Japanese convenience store. These ones are made from local businesses, okay? So this is not like your Joe Schmo, I walked down to 7-Eleven. All right, this is like, whew, I walked down to this quality place. They make their own cows. Whew, look at this Belgian waffle thing. It's probably not a Belgian waffle because it's from Japan, but. Ooh, Sumo. Ooh, Edo. You know that show, Show Gone. That's pretty popular these days. We also have, oh, that looks good. I think that looks great. My wife and I usually fight over this one the most. Because I like the, the oh, let's see, it's a milk tea Belgian waffle. Wow, it's still Belgian. Hmm. You know, sometimes uh, it is, sometimes it isn't. But they always come with this fun little tea. So, I don't know what that one says, but it's probably a black bean because it's got like these black bean looking things. The other thing it also frequently comes with, and you can see all these other things in here as I'm kind of digging through this, is this little box. And I know what you're thinking, man, Manga Boy. That's not really a little box. That's like a box that could hold maybe a dish. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is probably my favorite dish they've sent me. Uh, so, could I pull, is it Tokyo Tower? Probably Tokyo Tower. Um, sumo, we got the Shiba statue, we got the rickshaw. I'm in love. I love it. So, why don't I, real quick, real quick, brew up some of my tea while you guys all sign up for Tokyo Treat slash Soccer Crow using my link down below and getting $5 off your subscription. I feel like that is a smart idea. So we'll see you back in a second with my tea. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack box where you get up to 20 of exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks, which include a Japanese instant ramen and drinks that are only available in Japan for a limited amount of time. Sakurako, on the other hand, is a monthly Japanese artesian snack box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artesian Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. This month, Tokyo Treat's theme is Tokyo Snackation. Tokyo Treat invites you to journey through Japan's exciting and colorful capital city, Tokyo, which is also Tokyo Treat's hometown. Fun fact. This month's Tokyo Treat box is packed with delicious, sweet, and savory snacks inspired by the famous city. So get ready to explore this month's massive metropolis and experience Tokyo through this month's box. You have some highlights including the Kit Kat Royal Milk Tea, Tokyo Shoyu Ramen, Coke. Koi Kia Ume Chips, Pokemon Chocolate Marshmallow, and Melon Cream Soda. 
Sakurako's theme, Traditions of Tokyo this month. Tokyo isn't just a modern metropolis. It has a rich history that stretches back centuries. That's why this month, Sakurako invites you to step back in time to Tokyo's Edo period and immerse yourself in the timeless charm of, Tokyo, of traditional Tokyo by savoring authentic flavors from the city. Snack highlights include Henaria's Arar, Arar <laughs> Mizu Warabimochi, Mochi Monaka, Tokyo Skytree Baked Chocolate, and many more. All of them pair perfectly with the Koromame tea. This one's table item is the Tokyo Plate. Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of Man Manga Boy. He bought his manga from the uh, aftermarket. Wow, a surprise, because usually I don't do that, but I still am getting pre-orders in from Crunchyroll slash right stuff when I order from right stuff. And it's hard for me to know what's coming and what I pre-ordered, what I didn't pre-order, because they don't send you emails about the things you pre-ordered from right stuff. And some of your orders get deleted, but they're still coming and some of them don't. And it's just a little confusing. So I kind of try to hold off on things until all or most of them come in. So I don't double buy, they double sent, which was cool, but like uh, weird. Tough to get rid of those volumes as well, unless I sell them for half price. But I mean, I guess at that point it's all gravy anyway, so like really was a big deal. Anyways, let's open them up. See what we got. I guess I'm gonna leave my phone like that. <laughs> you guys missed an avalanche. Hopefully you missed it. You never know with me with that thing. You could have been in the whole ride. Now I know what you're thinking, man, Manga Boy, you're uploaded to the wrong channel again. You, you're posting your your kilos of drugs and in, in, in marijuanas on the wrong channel. This is the manga channel, not your drug channel. Oh my gosh, no, you silly goofballs. This is manga. I know it's all wrapped up nice and pretty, but come on. What do you take me for? So this series I got because I'm a moron. I know it's it's not any surprise to anybody here, but I, what am I doing buying this series? I'm so stupid. I bought it because it's all part of the same universe has stupid Negima, okay? Um, and Lufina is also part of that universe. Thank you very much. And I'm so dumb that I care about that, but for some reason, I freaking do. And so I bought all of I Love You, AI Love You. It was at least cheap. I think this was around 50 or 40 bucks, something like that. Um, <clears throat> So I got one through eight here, all in a fancy order. We'll go through it a little bit more later. And um, yeah, we can talk about the art and how old this is and how it's from Tokyo Pop and all that stuff. But let's just keep rolling on for now. We got a right stuff box. Zoom out a little bit here. Oh. I didn't remember if I got this or not, so I did it uh order it again and I was like, I just won't get it again. And if I ordered it, great. If I didn't order it, I didn't. Uh I think that this art looks pretty cool, and that's why I got it. It looks kind of like um one of my favorite authors are. They did uh, the little, little planet with, they did uh, Visk and Lucifer, that one. Um, Daemons of the Shadow Realm, volume three by Hiro Hiromu Arakawa. This is by the same author as Full Metal Alchemist. Third volume, these come out kind of slow, but I'm pretty sure we're like right on par with Japan, so that's why. Uh, we got another right stuff book here. Thought I had more, um, oh, I did. Perfect. Perfecto. 
put that there. I say, I thought I had more books. I mean, my uncle boy not coming in here with no book. Let's be real. Blue Lock. Blue Lock, volume 11. Oh, wow, you go on the cover right there. Football in his hand. They caught a football or a soccer ball. Who knows? Not me. I'm, I'm a sports guy, not a sports guy. Come on. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we've got another box from the third party, the aftermarket, as they say. I got one box off of eBay, one box off of Mercury. I think this time around. I think. Okay. Oop. Wow, these people do such good work with their wrapping. I get kind of lucky here. Lucky or this is a little tedious. <laughs> Hard to say. Maybe I pissed this guy off. <laughs> Let's see if I can use the shortcut. You guys ever do surgery? Me either. All right. Well, you got off without too much of a scratch. Just the, the ones that it came with. Um, RG Veda. The series came from the UK, believe it or not. Whoa. These are heavy. Um, I believe volume three is like impossible to find. <clears throat> it was either three or two. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's three. And um, that was kind of grimy. And the UK, they had it, so I bought it. And these are like three-in-ones of UG, RG, Veda. And what we do here is it's by Clamp. It's one of the earlier works. Dark Horse made an omnibus of it. They're probably gonna reprint it at some point in their life. But if you're like really interested, what happened to my phone? If you're really interested in it, uh, it being Clamp, this is one way you can check it out, I suppose. I don't know what happened to my phone, but clearly something happened to my phone. Yep, it's still happening. Hopefully that's better. That's what happens when you use books as a stand. Well, you know, when you got books, you got books. Okay, you use, you're gonna use them. You're not gonna really mentally really use them, right? That's what I always say. So, 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 we got two boxes left. We're nearing the end of our journey. Ta -da! So, 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 we have Ghost in the Shell, the Human Algorithm Volume 4. I told my friend to check out this series, not because I've seen it, but because they were like, oh, I got all the ghosts in the shell. And I was like, oh, did they reprint? Like, uh, did they ever have like a San Luis Complex or this one in this style? And they're like, I've never even heard of that one. And I'm like, oh. And then also, I guess San Luis Complex is like anime original. So I was like, oh. So this is the follow up to 1.5, but it happens before volume two of Ghost in the Shell or Ghost in the Shell 2. So that's a little confusing, but sure, why not? Let, let's add some confusion, Bofuri. I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. That sounds like a good move to me. Ice Blade, Sorcerer Shell, Rule the World, volume eight. Ooh, that's pretty in the back, cool. What? Oh, for the fans of, I was like, what? The regular Magic High School and Magic the Gathering? <laughs> oh my God, I'm sick and dying. As I say, the regular at Magic High School. Uh, and uh, you see my confusion here, okay? It says Sir Magical Index and the, the regular Magic High School. And that's all I read. And I thought that was the same author, but it says it's for people who like those. Okay, that was my confusion. God, I'm so stupid sometimes. 
Okie dokie. We're opening it up. We're opening it up. Oh, 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 We opened it up. It's one volume of Common Rider Kuga, volume four. They had to re-release volume one and I think volume two because they were so shittily translated. Neato, that's your fun fact of the day. So let's open this up. Oh, that's just a water. So, oh, that looks sick. We have Seraph at the end, Gurun Ichido's Castrophe at 16. Let me show you the back. This is a interesting, weird ass situation where the main series is published. The manga anyways is published by Shona Jump, but the manga is published by Kodansha. So the light novel prequel that this is based off of is uh, published, is adapted. Hold on, let me restart this. So the manga, right, the original manga of this series is Seraph of the End. It's published in Jump. Okay. Now, there's a prequel light novel called Gurren Ichinos Catastrophe at 16. Okay, that's the prequel. It's a light novel only. Now, they recently started adapting this light novel into a manga. Now, okay, now hold on a second. Hold on. Now, that manga is adapted but published published by Kodansha. Why? How? Who did this? And they're fat. They're like two ones. Um how? Why? Who? So I put these all in a row in my Shonen Jump section on my bookshelf, but like it's a messy situation. Okay guys. You don't want to be caught dead in that situation. Uh, yeah, so we have some interestingly decent art here. Really, this is a vampire versus angel versus demons. Kind of a manga versus humans, I suppose. Why not? You got some boobs in it. Why not? You got fighting in it. School, 16 year olds. Demon? I guess so. Uh, Kamen Rider Kuga, Volume 4. I haven't started reading this yet. Big fan of Super Sentai, uh, as I had mentioned earlier. This guy looks like a weird high schooler. I hope he's a teacher. I hope the art isn't that bad and that's supposed to be a regular sized teacher. But uh, I... Well, I guess he is a student. He's just a funky looking student. Cool. <laughs> that's good, because I was worried for a second there. Uh, we got cool art at the end, which is neato. Kamen Rider Zero One coming soon. I don't know if that's a manga or if that is a comic, but I like it when they're manga because then they're this size that their comics are like the super thin ones. Those can be annoying. Anyways, let me go change my battery. Be right back. Let's show off what I got uh, continued because I already showed off two titles. <coughs> the Ice Blade Sorcerer shall rule the world by eight. This looks like a neat little rainbow off the sword. I'm a big fan of this cover design. I think it looks neat. I don't know much about the series other than the concept zones, cool ice blades and sorcerers right up my alley, just thematically alone. We have Bofuri, I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max up my defense. You have to say it with a little bit of a jam to it, um, you know, and that's just law. I didn't make that up at all. I like it. It's not amazing, but it is good. It was one of my favorites for a while, but well, the VMRPG manga thing got really good lately again. Volume 4 of Ghost in the Shell. The human algorithm, like I said earlier, between 1.5 and Volume 2. We've got... Oh, RG Beta by Clamp. 1 through 3 Omnis by Dark Horse. So we'll just go kind of like this. Let's see, this is a fold. I didn't do that. Perfect. We got Blue Look, Volume 11. He's all chained up. Even Ego is in jail, I suppose. Uh, volume 11. I always like the cover designs in that series. It looks cool. We have Damons of the Shadow Realm, again by the same author as Fulminal Alchemist. And the backs look very neat. 
we have the Great Yokai Wars, War Guardian. <laughs> um, it looks like it's got Nurhiran in it from um, <clears throat> from uh, blah, 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 Nura, the Yokai Berate of 100 Demon Things from Shaman King, Shaman King from Shonen Jump. You can see here we got the Nurhiran. Uh, head there. Very cool. It looks like it came out in 2021. Don't know if this is any good or not. Like I said earlier, I really just got it based on the art style. It looks like it is a manga adaptation of a movie. So that's cool. Um, probably not too many more to go there. And lastly, I, AI Love You. This is a one through eight complete series. <clears throat> I thought there might have been nine volumes at first, but there's only eight. There is a additional chapter that came out, but it's never released in English, and it was released years later. You can read it online. It's like six pages long. It's super short. <clears throat> um, I don't know much about the series, but it is in the same universe as Love Hina, which is actually in the same universe as uh, Nagima and UQ Holder. So I decided to pick it up for that reason. It is a bad reason to pick up this manga. I would only pick it up if you are nostalgic towards it. Um, the series is old, pretty unwanted, or at least it was cheap <laughs> anyhow when I bought it. Um, so I guess the, the man for it is low, otherwise it'd be much, much more, much more hot. Similar to um, Air Gear, which is an older series, but it's super popular. This is all by Tokyo Pop. So yeah, it's got those little Tokyo Pop things there. I don't know, what do you call that, a robot? icon drone thingy um but yeah you know typically not super um not super uh big on getting older manga like this I i'm pretty sure this is just gonna be like a harem comedy manga which isn't really up my alley so so much but i do kind of want to just read everything in a universe just because that's how my brain works and it's a really bad reason to check this out you can see that this series is kind of similar era to video girl i it looks like and it came out ai love you hopefully this is a little better than that series but i really doubt it i've heard nothing other than ken akamatsu is like a horn dog based on his manga and his series so it is probably going to be a horny anus manga but who knows maybe i'll be wrong great yokai wars let's show you guys a few pages through it like i was saying earlier i don't know much about it it does look fun i've never seen this movie before um, but it is a thinner than average series you can see compared to the great AI love you, it is like what, half the size. <laughs> so yeah, not really expecting a ton there. Demons of the Shadow Realm, I'm expecting the world from, I love the first two volumes. This series is uh, kind of ramping up in the mystery of what's going on. Really recommend checking out um, the series if you like Full Metal. The two aren't really similar, but you know, just because of the author. <laughs> uh, Blue Lock, I think I said it all last time. They have special abilities these days. Very cool art style. Look at how sick that looks. What? Uh, so yeah, cool to see that Ego's in jail of his own making. Um, but like uh, this series comes out at rapid speed, so I'm, I'm pretty far behind. Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. Uh, JK, it's the human algorithm. I haven't read the other Ghost in the Shells yet, so I want to check them out first. Um, but you can see that the art to this series looks superb. Like, wow. I'm actually very surprised by that. Um, so yeah, I, I do want to read this. Uh, oh, maybe just the black people look really good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I, I want to read this. I like Ghost in the Shell, uh, the movie. I didn't really like Stanley Complex all that much when I was younger, and I haven't checked it out when I was older to see if I got it more. But when I was younger, I was too dumb to really understand what's going on. I was just like, wow, cool ghost robot, ha ha ha, laughing man. I'm a laughing man too. And so that was kind of how I went off of it, I suppose. But everybody had the laughing man icon on forums back in the day. Back in the day, you know, Reddit was not existent. And so we had multiple forums that were kind of like Reddit. They're all on like Neoseeker and stuff. It was pretty shitty. Angel Fire is another one. Anyways, yeah, this is a VMORPG manga that for a while was one of my favorite ones because there weren't a lot out. Nowadays, there's a lot out. Shangri La Frontier and, um, oh my God, I always forget its name. Ugh, this is why it's not popular. <laughs> Infinite Dendogram are probably my two favorite VMORPGs right now, but uh, Bofuri is very lighthearted, kind of casual. Um, VMORPG manga. And it's kind of funny because like the main character constantly is breaking the game and the uh the world itself is very aware of that so they're always like 
Oh, what crazy shit is she gonna get up to this time? And it's pretty funny. <laughs> They're like, this shitty maple breaking my game again. <laughs> uh, the art to this series doesn't look super great, but it does look super funny. Uh, it looks like it's got a little bit of an etchy thing to it, but I really am in it for the sorcery and ice blade stuff. I'm a big fan of Magic Knights, and you can see there's magic everywhere, so I'm excited to check that out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this series here. I know that the background changed. Don't worry, guys. Okay, it's not my first one. Rodeo here, all right. We also have a Common Rider Volume 4, Kuga. This series looks cool, like I was saying earlier. The uh, main series got uh, poorly translated, by, supposedly by AI, that they had to redo it again uh, for the first volume or two. And I have those shitty translation copies. Pretty cool, probably a collector's item, probably not. Probably actually need to just burn it because nobody's gonna wanna read that shit. But who knows? Um, Seraph of the End. Guru Nichino's Catastrophe at 16. Like I was saying, this is the prequel to Seraph of the End. Shocking. Um, yeah, don't really know much about it other than it's really about his commanding officer. Um, it should be a lot of interesting revelations, I'm hoping, because they kind of allude to a lot of stuff happening in that series. I was bummed out that I couldn't read because I can't read. So to have the manga version of it is very exciting. Volume three, two, and one of RG Veda. So yeah, these are these are humongous. I thought that these were gonna be like Astro Boy size. They're not, they're like a little bit bigger than a real manga, uh, both height wise and a little bit width wise. It's more like half an inch taller and then just like quarter inch wider. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm really shocked by that. And uh, yeah, things look like, you know, standard clamp affair here from the olden days. Hopefully, ooh, wow, that looks cool. <laughs> Hopefully the story's good. Uh, we are gonna be reading like Magical Knight Ray Earth in the book club this time around. And probably some more clamp stuff afterwards. Uh, Neek was telling me about maybe doing some Sakura card capture. So if you guys are like, let's do some card capture Sakura, I want to read it, you know, let me know and we can do book club. Ooh, that'd be fun. Wow, the famous YouTuber Mimonga boy. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. And you can see that none of this is really an act. I'm just a fucking weirdo sometimes. What a shocker. Anyways, thank you all so much for hanging out. You know, just like always. Nice to have you for the ride. If I did an ad for this video, check out the link down below. Special thanks to Tokyo Box Sakura um, Box for sponsoring the video. If I did the ad read, I'm pretty sure I will have done it, but who knows? I'm very slow with my boxes these days, but if I get on top of my unboxing schedule, then you know what? This video wouldn't be sponsored. But if I fall behind, it's because I have to release at least one video a month uh, for the sponsorship. And that's totally cool. At least somebody pushes me to do it because otherwise I would just play Magic the Gathering all night and these boxes would just sit here and my room, my office would turn into a disaster. But luckily it's just a book disaster. That's perfect, much nicer looking than boxes. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you once bye again bye. to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's video. Use code MAN when checking out on Tokyo Treat or Sakura Co orders and or use the link down below to help uh, show me your love. Get $5 off your order. Feel free to share these codes or get a box for a loved one as we jump into summer. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.